Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Timberborn series. Now, many cycles have once again passed since our last episode, so a couple of things to go through. First of all, I would like to apologize. I have been very bad at finding some time to reply to the comments. I have seen them all. I really appreciate them. They've been amazing. But I just, yeah, I've seen them on my phone when I'm at work. I've read them, but I just... It's so busy right now that I, I'm really slow at replying, so just wanted to put that out there. And uh, thank you so much for all the name suggestions for the mountaintop colony here as well. I will make a list of them, and um, I think we'll do the same what we did before in the previous series. I'll just put up a bit of a vote on the on the YouTube as well. The only downside to that one is there's the only... I think you can only add five options, so... So yeah, I'm really sorry if uh, your idea or the suggestion isn't isn't on the list. I really like them all. It's just I feel really bad that I have to pick five, but uh, you know it is what it is. And now a few things to a uh, few other things to mention as well. We have just hit six thousand subscribers, so that is amazing. Thank you so much for everyone that has joined this channel. And uh, then another one, I think only one person including myself, realized that our channel has had its anniversary just a few days ago actually. On the 15th of February, I think that's when the first video was released here exactly one year ago. So a bit of a birthday for us as well. And I will come up with something or some way how to celebrate this. And I just wanted to mention a big shout out to Melanie for being the only one, including myself. Even I forgot about it. And um, yeah, thank you so much, Melanie, for remembering this. And uh, I will promise to come up with something to celebrate this, but it, um, it might get a little bit delayed. Okay, so let's jump uh, straight into the episode. Quite a few cycles have passed and uh, I guess if we start from here, we... I did manage to go down another, well, kind of half a layer in here. Top bit is mostly cleared, so this is the final layer that we will demolish, at least for the time being. And in here, I think, if we can kind of see, uh, it should be two more levels. And that is a work in progress as well, but we'll just take it nice and steady. I sort of thought about doing it off camera, but then we'd most likely be on like cycle 23 now. And so yeah, I mean, there are ways how we could achieve it very quickly, but I guess we could put in, let's see, if we go on the power, we could throw down a couple of engines, which I suppose I'm some, in some ways I'm heading towards by having lots more maples in here as well. But I just don't know the exact layout just yet, because at some point we are also going to need the uh, smelter to fit in uh, somewhere here. I'm not really happy about this layout here. I really want to rip this section out and maybe put the smelters... I think one or two should be enough to stack over here. And then, uh, yeah, the engine could most likely be somewhere tucked away behind here as well. Maybe right next to here. But we'll, we'll live and see. There isn't really a big rush with all that so yeah we'll take it nice and slow then uh, population i'm sure you've noticed has increased quite a bit and just to get some of those construction things done a little bit quicker especially around dynamites as well well once we get enough i have put up put down a couple of temporary builders huts over here and ooh, we have another trout in 1.3 days as well okay main colony side i think it's very not very much has happened here just a few extra dynamites. Are you able to reach this one? I think you are, yes. Okay, so that's good. And then we're cutting down these trees uh, here as well, because the logs seem to go down a little bit. At least the numbers. Let me speed up the time, actually. Then we've expanded the farm. Lots more potatoes in uh, here. The range is not the greatest. So I guess another farm will have to be a little bit closer here somewhere. And then we'll put down some more decorations, a few scarecrows as well. And uh, we have finally had our first batch of blueberries. Which means the breeding pods are now online and they are bringing in a lot more beavers for us. Then we also have a new, what is it, like a bit of a farm section here. We are gonna try and get bread done locally soon. And, well, as soon as they grow up, and then I'll put a couple of beehives here as well. 
And you know what? Why don't we already schedule in? Let's grab defense. I think it will go something like so. I'll leave those just for the time being. I'll do them a little bit later. But we'll have the... I should probably rotate it. Let's do something like so. So they will still be able to access the farm from this side. I think this farmhouse over here, yeah, you're going to be mostly for the wheat. So let's change it to planting as well. And okay, I've got a little bit of space here. So we can put down a few trees, a few decorations, things like that. I was also thinking of bringing a road along this river. But then I remembered don't want to get too crazy with the road layouts just yet because if we want to achieve a massive colony then the less pathfinding they have to do the better it is going to be on our system as well then we talked about this uh, the drought has start one second do we need to do anything here i think we're fine oh yeah we do have to do something and that is this so let's change you over you should be good now yep Water seem to be going low on the mountaintop district, so I have allocated them one more pump. Uh, nope, I was not meant to pause it. Let's change it up again. And I think in the long term, we are just going to have two more pumps right next to here. But until they finish those dynamites, I kind of want to leave this uh, staircase in place. And um, yeah, we'll add an extra one when we, when we need it. Uh, desperately, I suppose. Okay, uh, coming back to this secret access over here, I think there was a quite a few people that said this might be a very nice idea. So that's what I was doing off camera a little bit as well. So let's go to the lowest level. We do have, if I can grab it, we do have the underground warehouse here. And right above it, we have the arches. So that way it now allows us, uh, I need to go up a little bit to build above the above the warehouse we've got another tiny one in here that doesn't really hold anything just yet but i guess we could put some food in there don't we what are you storing you are storing grilled potatoes okay so maybe let's see if we can find bread bread is right over here so why don't we just you know fill it up allow desired let's do desired what are you? Oh, you're here. 200. So it's nice and close to the beavers. And yeah, so I think that's going to be the layout I shall be going for. I'd want to put... Well, I'd love to put levees here. But as you know, levees cannot really go on top of any of those other buildings. So we might just do decorations a little bit differently. I tried the roof bit here as well, but it just didn't look very nice. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to... I don't know, do some more shrubs over here and then uh, another thing i'd like to do i still want them to uh, be lined up so we shall desired none let's empty you prioritize it as well we should have enough holders right yeah i think i'll pause you do we need to pause it no no actually we don't need to pause you because we still have a few unemployed beavers don't we how many four well that's okay they can be our reserve beavers. And uh, you have nothing in here. Okay, so that's great. Uh, you guys are living here as well. Do you know what? No, not in this one. I think we'll relocate you over there. Let's pause this building. And now what we shall do is let's get rid of all this in here. Just like so. Okay, beautiful. Now, I think when it comes to that secret access, I don't want to give them access from the bottom, but we will do it for now because we don't really have the stairs going down all the way to the bottom level just yet. And now if I'll go down a few levels, actually, never mind, I've already done it, but I just forgot about it. Yep, never mind, we do have that secret access. So let's get rid of this road and we can do the same just on that side. We are going to have to put back the industrial log pile. And they are accessing it from the other side, aren't they? Right, how far do we need to put it? Mm, I think it needs to go... Wait, where is the house? There it is. So that's going to have to go there. We can have one of those houses as well. Yep, you shall be here. 
and the stairs a road which we shall not put in just yet because I don't want those beavers to spread out too much I mean we've got 120 beavers already which is quite a lot I know in some ways it isn't a lot you can have a lot more if you wanted to but you know for me I like to keep a nice small colony until we have most things the way we want them to be okay so these things are in now that's starting to look good these houses are still paused and the reason for that is I am going to yeah they are gonna be deleted and the dynamites I think we will be dynamiting this section out I know how I wanted to leave the map intact but no one needs to know about it you know maybe it was already done before and we're just gonna hide it with houses and levees and other things that we can really construct here just to make it look like the mountain actually you know carries on from here and no one's gonna know that we have the secret access into the mountain it's kind of a bit of a cave for the for the beavers to hide their most valuable things so yeah that's what i'm sort of thinking to to do and i guess on this side what we could place in here well two options we could cover it up with levees maybe do a few and we'll have some of the monuments around here as well now at the top here this is i'm pretty sure i want to carry this on a little bit and this is just a perfect location for a couple of these monuments not sure which one just yet but i was thinking maybe actually let's go decorations first we'll use one of the other fences maybe the metal ones because now we have this unlimited supply of metal at some point at least could do a bit of a metal fence around it and the monument could go right in the middle here let's grab the monument again i think yeah maybe a couple of beavers at the top and then the fire ones could be maybe at the lower levels or the other way around actually because the fire ones have a slightly bigger range so let's unlock you as well yeah maybe you too could go up here or I guess we'll we'll live and see what's gonna happen. Anyways, these are sort of the plans. Now, one of the great comments that I do remember was up in uh, here, we should really dig it down to two levels just to ensure that we always have enough water. And uh, yeah, I think it's not a bad idea at all. So I've slowly started to do these sections as well up until I realized, hey, we need those dynamites in this section uh yeah this section is a bit more important so let's take you out as well and the roads can now go and we'll schedule in a few more of these dynamites i would love for them to prioritize these two rows first but they've done quite a bit already here as well which is fantastic oh and they're also bringing them up here which means you must have done all of them by now haven't you yeah the drought is only for 12 days so we can actually wait there's no rush to lower this section just yet so yeah let's uh let's leave it as it is okay so the fences seem to be mostly oh right i guess we need what do we need we need a platform here so let's connect them up as well and we can finish off the last of the fences and that's looking a lot better already now if we look at our food supplies there is i am gonna cut this field down very soon i think yeah berries are fine uh bread we are not producing it here just yet so let's leave it as it is potatoes there are a ton of potatoes already and uh, so what are you guys up to okay so you're harvesting everything and that's fine we shall be getting more carrots anytime soon. I think we're just building a bit of a backlog of uh, potatoes there as well. Actually, never mind. Because this one's holding grilled potatoes. So, yeah. 4,000 and that's when they'll probably stop working on that. So, yeah. That's going to be quite a lot of time. Power seems to be... Okay. Good for now. Because we do have wind. Wait. Do we have six unemployed up here? Yes, we do. Well, that's a lot of them. Oh, another thing that I completely forgot to mention is I've put in a quite a few dams and levees around this area. 
So essentially what I sort of wanted to do was separate them into different smaller sections. So, well, yeah, a lot of the spare extra water that runs through this lake area here uh, disappears pretty quickly. And I just really like seeing this area very green. So I just wanted to keep a bit more water in, in these different, different sections. I mean, yeah, all we really needed was that one there. But, you know, thinking about the future as well, we are going to need some some way to cross this stream here. And that just looks like a potentially a really nice tiny lake with some uh, nature around it, benches, maybe a kind of like a relaxation zone for our beavers. So, yeah, now they do have access towards here at least. Okay, seems like we have done this connection here, which is great. We'll put the last missing log vents in there. And then the next step is really just to have a couple of beehives here as well. So let's... Uh, oh, that's a little bit difficult, isn't it? Oh, that is perfect. I'd like to say it was calculated, but it wasn't. We just got really lucky. Basically, yeah. Um, right, so let's put in... Let's get a better angle. One, two, three, fourth one... I think it's about here, isn't it? Someone please come and take it down. There's someone building the fence as well. You still cannot reach that. Well, that's a bummer. Um, do you know what? Let's take this out. How about now? Yes, you can reach. Okay, so that's great. And you can go in there. We should be able to do just one more. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the fourth one. Okay. Here it is, there it shall go, we'll get the beehive in in no time, we should still have paper, right? Oh yeah, plenty. Lots of planks, even gears, that's, that's just beautiful. Yeah, that makes me very happy. Okay, dynamites we have done, amazing. They've also done this section here. Oh wow, okay, good. I was kind of starting to think maybe we might need another explosives factory but i i think if we just keep going slow with this it, it should be fine i'll uh, just remember another comment i think it was about the water plants and things that they might not be worth the effort and you know what in some ways i i do agree i just really wanted to see what they look like initially now i've already queued up just to rip it all out but i think in the future once you know we're at the really good sort of place with our colony development on oh wow all that wheat is already done you know i'm what i was gonna say is that i don't mind having some water plants around this area i suppose and um you know just a bit of luxury goods for for our beavers if if there is gonna be some spare spare space in here i, th I think most like rivers yes we are you know lowering to to two levels but I'm sure we can spare a couple of sections where we don't have to dig all the way down. And I know in, during the the droughts they will dry up, but maybe this will just be a little challenge for us to figure out how we can keep those water plants alive in those long 30-day droughts. Okay, so these sections are great. You're not really planting anything anymore. What's, uh, I thought you were able to reach this before. Oh, it might be this... Are you saying that by putting in those log fences, now he doesn't have access to them once? Well, that's not really nice, but do you know what? It's okay. We'll put a whole bunch of, yeah, trees on, on that side. Not a problem at all. And the last, very last thing we'll have to do is, let's do a couple of woodcutters just about there, so then we can take this lumber check out, finish the fencing. We should probably do the same here as well, shouldn't we? Yeah. Are you not going to turn? Oh, oh yeah, I do remember now. That's gonna have to be a shrub instead. Okay, there we go. Yep, almost complete. That section is done as well, so beautiful. Not the fence, just over there. And you're done, which is... Oh, it's the range again. Right, let's change this up. You can still reach here. These two, you can go... And you two can go. Okay. Fine. We'll do it that way then. Now, for the beaver well-being. I would like to have a really cool location for the... For the... What was it? The church? Where are you? Leisure... Oh, the temple. Yeah. 
if I was a little bit smarter, I would have left a little bit of space here in the middle and we could have had a temple on a lake. But I wasn't that smart. So we're going to have to find a new location and I guess maybe up here could do a temple right next to all this production zone. Um, well, I guess it could work. Now, how many points were you? 400 only. Okay, so why don't we unlock you? Yep, that's too... The area isn't big enough, unfortunately. It could go right about here. Maybe another one on the other side if we need one. Uh, okay, I guess we'll have to think about it. We'll live and see. Now, other fun stuff that we could do. We could put in a few shrines for the time being. And not entirely sure where we should have them. But for now, why don't we just have a couple right over there, yeah, just just two, you know. It only takes logs, so we can always move them around elsewhere if we don't want to have them here. And maybe, I don't know, two more here? Do we want them there? No, they all live around this area. Well, we haven't really developed this area too much right now, so why don't we just actually get rid of these ones? And these might be more sort of semi-permanent solutions for us. And all right, what else do we have? We have this little with the logs and planks is what you need so okay fine can we place a couple down well i don't think they're gonna stay here but hey let's give them some more fun stuff where was the door again oh dear okay i think it's here at least we have some fun and religious things for our beavers to do just until we get some some better better things in well first we're gonna need some more power but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. Okay, let's have a look at the dynamite as well. Just one more missing over there, which is beautiful. Let's just do one more layer. And all of you can go. Highest priority for you. Yeah, I think this whole section over here pretty much can go now. So let's wait until the beavers dump coming down here. Just go to bed already, guys. It is, it is time to go and have fun. Work is closed. And we can now... Beautiful. Might be able to still reach all those, right? Or maybe not. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Now, let's uh, see what else is very important right now. Uh, what's the problem? Deeper water. Well, I guess we could steal a little bit from here. Uh, one second. Level 2 is not letting anything through. 1.5 let's see what happens now and if we put you on one maybe we can send a bit more water towards this side right here it comes and beautiful so let's raise you to 1.5 again oh that's it no more water from there at least okay well then oh those trees are pretty much done already so another thing i've done here is a temporary forester and if I'm not mistaken, the pine trees can spread in um, sort of left to right, up and down. They don't really expand diagonally and they should, shouldn't care about the levels or the height. So I'm testing this out to see if, if that's, that's true or not. So in theory, we should have pine trees growing soon on these different levels as well so i do want to see how that works out if it works out at all but i guess we'll we'll find out but it would be really cool if it just keeps spreading out covers this whole hilltop as much as we can i think it should be able to cover pretty much everything in here and then we'll try and do the same on the other side as well at some point at least these are working now this is great we see some uh, beavers practicing for the summer olympics in four years it's not four years actually well for the next uh, summer olympics yeah okay great now they've got some proper uh, training facilities and with the housing in here okay i think we're pretty good with all that as well the next thing will be to figure out how we want to lay out all these large windmills and how far are these trees okay i wonder if the beehives actually boost the growth of the trees as well i don't think they do but if they do, that would be cool. And we could do a few beehives around here. 
Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Have we marked this for... Oh. Of course we haven't. Let's try and do this as well. And... Right up... No. No, 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 no. Not, not on this side. Ooh. Okay. So that's... Uh, that's looking good. Pretty happy with that. I think these sections we can also start to cover up. No. Not up there. Okay. Good. Dynamite. Beautiful. Maybe high priority for you guys. There we go. Let's take this section out as well. And... Ooh, I am loving this. This is actually going pretty well right now. If I remember correctly, I might have read it wrong or misunderstood it. But the reason why I'm building these roads here isn't for the reach. It is just to try and keep beaver safe when I... Uh, you know, when we detonate those dynamites. So essentially I'm sectioning them out and we have these little quadrants. Once they finish one, we can detonate all the dynamites in there and the beavers, you know, they shouldn't go into this area. They'll be trying to fix up all the other sites. And this is just my way of, uh, you know, keeping them alive whilst I might forget that someone is still constructing dynamites in here and and yeah so that's why i'm putting those rows down in there but okay so let us see when it comes to the next episode well for this one oh we've lost water here we probably have to make sure that this area is always stocked up and that probably means having dynamites in here making it two levels potentially as well so maybe that's something we'll have to work towards fixing up to make sure that this never dries up but other than that i think that's a that's a good good progress for this episode and uh, yeah i'll come up with some ideas how should we celebrate hitting 6k and having our one year anniversary just give me some time and once again shout out to you melanie for reminding me that hey it's your channel's birthday very soon so thank you so much melanie and uh, also the rest of you as well thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one